Imagine suffering a severe trauma that is so devastating that you lose part of your face. Facial prosthetics are often required by patients who have been involved in perhaps road accidents, those that have congenital malformations or may be suffering from cancers. Not only would you have to cope with the psychological impact, but also you'd have to deal with the disfiguring aftermath. The current design of the prosthesis is time consuming and can be quite invasive. The end result is totally dependent upon the artistic skills of the prosthetist. Myself and other experts at King's are working to develop a new and more reliable method, a 3D printer which is capable of printing silicon in very complex shapes. The benefits of this are huge. They will enable us to replicate the prosthesis much more quickly. It will also utilise the prosthetist skills for other more challenging cases. Additionally, this will benefit the patients because rather than five to seven visits, we should be able to bring this down to two. This means a large cost saving to the NHS. Tissue engineering also offers the potential to restore, repair, damaged body parts, but with natural tissue, using the body's ability to regenerate itself. Our current research focuses on developing stem cell niche models, whereby we try and understand how cells talk to each other and how these cells can orchestrate the regeneration process. The idea being that we'll be able to develop scaffolds that can act as instructive cues to these cells to allow the regeneration of tissue. By bringing together computer-aided technology for clinical planning and also customising patients' implants using 3D printing, it's envisaged that we will be able to use the patient's own cells to enhance tissue regeneration and subsequent integration with the host tissue. It's really encouraging to be able to help people in this way, improving prosthetics and paving the way for creating viable implants for the future.